Imagine a world transformed. Picture a reality where machines can understand, learn, and even outthink us. This isn't science fiction. It's the promise of artificial intelligence, a technology poised to reshape our world as profoundly as the steam engine or the internet. Like those revolutions, AI has the potential to redefine what it means to be human. It promises solutions to some of our most pressing problems while also presenting us with profound ethical and societal challenges. The journey of AI is a story of ambition, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of unlocking the secrets of intelligence itself. This journey began not in gleaming labs, but in the minds of dreamers and pioneers who dared to imagine machines capable of thought. Their vision laid the groundwork for a century of remarkable progress, leading us to the cusp of an era where AI is no longer a futuristic fantasy, but a tangible reality. The seeds of the AI revolution were sown in the early 20th century, a time of unprecedented technological advancement. In 1929, I unveiled my groundbreaking creation, Gakuten Soku, a towering humanoid robot capable of writing and performing simple tasks. This marvel of engineering captured the public's imagination, hinting at a future where machines could mimic human actions. Across the globe, thinkers grappled with the theoretical foundations of artificial intelligence. In 1949, I published my seminal work, Giant Brains or Machines That Think. My book explored the capabilities and limitations of early computers, arguing that machines could be designed to exhibit intelligent behavior. These early explorations, while rudimentary by today's standards, laid the groundwork for the formal birth of AI as a scientific discipline. The stage was set for a revolution, and the world watched with bated breath. The year 1950 marked a watershed moment in the history of AI. It was then that I published my groundbreaking paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence. In this paper, I proposed a test that would become synonymous with AI the Turing test. My test centered around a simple question. Can a machine exhibit intelligent behavior indistinguishable from that of a human? The test involved a human evaluator engaging in a blind conversation with both a human and a machine. If the evaluator couldn't reliably distinguish between the two, the machine would be considered to have passed the test, demonstrating a level of intelligence on par with humans. The Turing test, while controversial and subject to debate, provided a tangible goal for AI researchers. It spurred a wave of innovation, leading to the development of the first AI programs. In 1952, Arthur Samuel created a checkers playing program that could learn and improve its strategies over time. This program, while simple, demonstrated the potential for machines to acquire knowledge and refine their skills through experience. In 1956, a pivotal workshop at Dartmouth College, organized by John McCarthy, brought together leading researchers in the nascent field of AI. This workshop is widely considered the birthplace of AI as a formal field of study. The term artificial intelligence itself was coined at this event, marking the beginning of a new era. The decades following the Dartmouth workshop witnessed an explosion of excitement and investment in AI. Fueled by government funding and driven by the promise of intelligent machines, researchers made significant strides in areas like natural language processing, robotics and problem solving. This period, often referred to as the AI boom, saw the development of expert systems. Programs designed to mimic the decision-making abilities of human experts in specific domains. These systems found applications in fields like medicine, finance and engineering, showcasing the practical potential of AI. However, the initial enthusiasm for AI was tempered by setbacks and unfulfilled promises. Despite significant progress, AI systems of the time struggled with tasks that humans found effortless such as understanding natural language and navigating complex environments. This disconnect between expectation and reality led to what became known as the AI winter, a period of reduced funding, 
and waning interest in the field. Despite the challenges of the AI winter, research continued, albeit at a slower pace. The 1990s and early 2000s saw a shift in focus towards the development of intelligent agents, software programs designed to perform specific tasks autonomously or with minimal human intervention. One area where AI made significant strides was in gaming. In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue supercomputer defeated chess grandmaster Garry Kasparov in a highly publicized match, demonstrating the ability of AI to outperform humans in complex games of strategy. This victory marked a turning point, showcasing the progress made in AI since the days of checkers playing programs. AI also began to permeate everyday life. Search engines like Google leveraged AI algorithms to provide more relevant search results, while spam filters used AI to keep unwanted emails at bay. These applications, while often invisible to the average user, highlighted the growing influence of AI in our daily lives. In 2011, IBM's Watson supercomputer achieved a major milestone by defeating two former champions on the game show Jeopardy. Watson's victory showcased the power of AI in natural language processing and knowledge representation, demonstrating its ability to understand and respond to complex questions posed in natural language. The year 2012 marked the beginning of a new era in AI, fueled by the resurgence of an old idea artificial neural networks. These networks, inspired by the structure of the human brain, consist of layers of interconnected nodes that process information in a way that mimics the human thought process. Advances in computing power and the availability of massive data sets enabled researchers to train deeper and more complex neural networks leading to breakthroughs in areas like image recognition, natural language processing and machine translation. This approach, known as deep learning, has revolutionized the field of AI, leading to unprecedented levels of performance in a wide range of tasks. Google's AlphaGo program, powered by deep learning, made headlines in 2016 by defeating a world champion Go player. This victory was particularly significant because Go, an ancient Chinese board game, was considered too complex for AI to master due to its vast search space and reliance on intuition. OpenAI, a research company dedicated to developing and promoting friendly AI, has made significant strides in natural language processing with its GPT or generative pre-trained transformer models. These models, trained on massive text datasets, can generate human quality text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. Facebook has also been at the forefront of AI research, developing algorithms for image recognition, object detection, and facial recognition. These technologies have found applications in various domains, from social media platforms to self-driving cars. As we stand on the cusp of a new decade, the future of AI is brimming with both promise and uncertainty. AI has the potential to revolutionize healthcare, transportation, education, and countless other industries, improving our lives in ways we can only begin to imagine. Imagine a world where AI-powered medical devices can diagnose diseases with unprecedented accuracy, where self-driving cars can navigate our roads safely and efficiently, and where personalized learning platforms can cater to the unique needs of every student. However, the rise of AI also presents us with profound ethical and societal challenges. As AI systems become more sophisticated, we must grapple with questions of bias, accountability, and the potential impact on employment. The future of AI is not a story of machines replacing humans, but rather a story of collaboration and symbiosis. By harnessing the power of AI while addressing its ethical implications, we can create a future where humans and machines work together to build a better world for all.